In Denmark, more than a third of power is produced by wind. And the share of renewables is constantly rising. But it hasn't always been like this. The oil crisis in 1973 triggered our transition. Denmark found itself painfully aware of its complete dependency on imported oil. Something had to be done. The first initiative was a strong focus on energy efficiency. In the heating and powering of our homes and offices, and in industry. The second initiative was to make renewable energy from the available resources – the sun, the wind, the water, straw, waste, even manure – basically anything we had. Our industries and universities have driven the technological innovation. One example is the development of the modern wind turbine where Danish companies have been at the forefront for decades. It has also brought us to view waste as a resource. Today, less than 6% of all waste ends up in landfills. Instead, it is now being used as raw materials for production, nutrients for agriculture and a source of energy. Denmark has come a long way since 1973 in creating a livable society. But there's still a long way to go. We will continue towards 2050, where our goal is complete independence of fossil fuels. It's an ambitious goal, but it's possible and necessary. A sustainable green transition is an investment in future economic growth creating new market opportunities and boosting global job creation. <laughs>